Yeah. Now, we've talked about this as a possibility. Now it looks like it'll become reality. Vote right now. Do it now. Do you legalize pot, yes or no? Supporters of legalized marijuana announced they have gathered about 700,000 signatures to get their initiative on the ballot in November. It would make it legal for anybody 21 or older to possess an ounce and grow it in an area no larger than 25 square feet for personal use. Now, a poll taken last April found 56% of the voters in the state wanted it. 60% in Los Angeles County wanted it. Does that mean it would pass if it's on the ballot? Not necessarily. Supporters say sell it, tax it, and the state profits. The president of the United States against legalizing it nationally for recreational use. Melissa, how do you think the people of this state will vote? I think we are all for it. You know, we have such problems with drunk driving and people who smoke pot are less menacing on the road than alcoholics and drunks. Let me jump in. Let me jump in and ask you a question. If you're altered, how are you less menacing? Well, in my, I mean, the, my running joke is what's the worst that someone's going to do? They're going to sit through a rotation of a light because they're not sure it changed. Um, but my, the, the alter, I mean, that's a, sort of a bad example. But my feeling is tax it, package it, do it. It, it. It's, you know, if we can do that with alcohol and tobacco, which in a lot of people's opinion are significantly worse than marijuana, you know, show me the difference. So let's- I say over 21, if you can drink alcohol, you can do that. It also is going to cut down on crime. I mean, it just. Overall, it's just a good idea. It's going to cut down on crime. Wait, it's going to cut down on crime because? Because you're not going to have people out there dealing. Okay. Well, you're not the, dealing you know, I mean, it's going to, you know, it's going to, re- it's going to remove money uh, from the, you know, a little bit of profit from the uh, cartels. But, but where, where Melissa's totally right, I completely agree with Melissa. Number one, it's going to bring money into the state. The state's broke. And number two, uh, it's, it's going to cut down on the prosecution, the incarceration, the arrest, uh, you know, all of the stuff that goes in in terms of time, personnel, cost, and money. It, it probably will only reduce our pr- prison population about, by about 1,500 inmates, which is not a lot. We've got 170 in prison, but it's going to it's going to save a lot of dollars. And I think Californians are just sick to death of having money removed for edu- from education from their You know, our universities that used to be the jewel of the country are now, you know, bleeding, uh, you know, because they're they're having so much money taken out of their uh, uh, budgets. And we would love to have this tax money from marijuana. And as Melissa said, I mean, this is less damaging, according to every study than alcohol is. Well, so, you know, bring it on. You know, and I say it's a boom for the frozen food industry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And cookies. Cookies. All right. Here we go. Let's go to the last one. Is this a <laughs> slip of the tongue, an acceptable statement, or a racist remark? Here's MSNBC's Chris Matthews talking about the president during his coverage of the State of the Union. I was trying to think about who he was tonight. And, uh, it's interesting. He is post-racial by all appearances. Uh, you know, I forgot he was black tonight for an hour. Later, he clarified, I was watching. I said, wait a minute. He's an African-American guy in front of a bunch of other white people. And here he is, president of the United States. And we have completely forgotten that tonight. Completely forgotten it. How did you interpret his remark, Melissa? I thought his Chris Matthews message was fabulous. I thought the verbiage was poor. Okay. Um, so I think we're also all, everyone is jumping on saying, how could he see that? I mean, we're all forgetting what he was trying to say. The message was so important. And it, it's just like, okay, he picked poor verbiage. Okay, not great. Chris Matthews, slap on the hand. You should know better. And he's come out immediately and, and clarified himself. But what we're all missing is the message that he was, the statement he was making is so true and so important. And it was such a such a salient interpretation of what he saw that night. All right. So Melissa says nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, she kind of liked it. What do you think, Celeste? Well, I think it was hideously clumsy. I mean, if you substitute other words, gee, for an hour, I thought I forgot she was a woman. Gee, for an hour, I thought I forgot he was a Jew. Gee, for an hour, I, I forgot she was a lesbian. I mean, you know, I mean, it, 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 it otherizes somebody. On the other hand, I agree with Melissa. I mean, the truth is, this is a guy who's a blurter, and his his mouth moves way faster than his uh, his brain filter is going. And I, I don't see everyone just flipping out when um, Glenn Beck called the president a racist, and when Rush Limbaugh uh, referred to the the uh, the the, the, the 
seal for the the healthcare uh, program as well, a, a Nazi, you know, I, I, I can um, say this, swastika. When, so you I can know, say it's this, like I can say this when Glenn Beck made that statement, we did address it here on the program. Okay, good. And 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 I might add, not defending Glenn Beck, but then he explained what he meant. And quite frankly, I do think he was called on that. I do think he was called on that. In many yeah, circles. no, I, I just think no. Well, I, and I'm glad you did that. But I, I think so much. You know, there's so much nonsense out there that said that that isn't called. And and yet, on, on the other hand, I mean, I, I just cringed when I heard it. I I, I suspected I knew what he meant, but. I mean, Not very thing is, I, you know, I really do feel poor verbiage. He's been called out on that. But again, everyone's trying to harp on that rather than accepting what the message he what he said, which you could see on the Rachel Matter show, which was such an important message. All right. Now, before we go tonight, Melissa, Celeste, hang tight here because Melissa's going to plug her new book. Go ahead, I'm Melissa. I'm going to plug my I new am. book, Red Carpet Ready. You can pre-order on Amazon. It comes out February 3rd. It's a great read, I think. Lots of fun, lots of tips, lots of life lessons, lots of inside story from the red carpet. And if you send me a dollar, I will send you the unedited Fred Rogan chapter. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> no, you know what? Actually, quite frankly. Who can resist? Isn't that worth much more than a dollar? All right. So, <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so, Les, Melissa, thanks. You guys have a nice weekend, okay? Bye. Thanks, Fred. And congratulations, Melissa. Thank you. Fred, have fun in Vancouver. All right. We'll talk to you. Uh-